It's another wonderful day. Not the usual sunny day. The sun shines modestly though, but perfect for an outdoor walk. This is Magellan's Cross Pavilion. This is an octagonal cask made of coral stone. And it is just beside the Basilica del Santo Nino de Cebu. Inside of this pavilion is the cross that was planted by explorers of the Spanish expedition of the first circumnavigation of the world, led by Ferdinand Magellan upon arriving in Cebu on April 21, 1521. The original cross was encased inside another wooden cross made of Tendalo wood in 1835. This is to protect the original cross from people who chipped away parts of the cross, because many believe that the cross possesses miraculous powers. However, some people believe that the original cross has been destroyed. On the ceiling of the pavilion's interior is a mural depicting the baptism of Raja Humabon and his household by Father Pedro Valderrama and the planting of a wooden cross by Ferdinand Magellan. This is the Magellan Cross. People believe that it is miraculous.
Lots of devotees visit here every day, coming from different parts of the country and even the world. Since the 16th century, the Santo Nino de Cebu has been honored with widespread veneration by the Filipinos. Not only in Cebu, but in all of the Philippines and worldwide. Santo Nino de Cebu, the miraculous statue of the child Jesus, and the devotion helped make the Philippines grow into one of the largest Catholic populations in the world. This 500-year-old image is believed to be miraculous, and that is because of the countless answered prayers, including healings over the centuries. <laughs> 